Hey guys, here on Blood with you, and I had just recently done the uh, Should You Buy video on the Anvil Ballista. Um, that being said, with it being in-game, I actually had an opportunity to get in and check it out. So I wanted to bring you a little bit of footage of this uh, vehicle. Um, as you can see, it is very large. I mean, on a FPS scale, I mean, the tires alone are basically human size, so they're about six feet tall. So you really get a pretty good idea of the scale. Um, it's got a relatively wide stance. You've got a ramp that you enter in from the side. And the inside looks basically like you would expect after we had the concept images. Now, there's the rear seat in the back, which is the gunner seat, or really more aptly named the missile person seat. Um, you've got the uh, driver up front, who also has the ability to remote into the uh, Gatling turrets on the top, which are scorpions. Now, inside you do have all of these component housings, which is going to be areas where you can probably access components and subcomponents and do some work. That being said, none of those are currently available to you today. Um, there is what looks to be a gun or a weapons rack for FPS. I'm not positive that's the case and what it is. And then there it says danger, do not slide. I don't know what that is either. I think that's going to be a component housing, probably something like a, uh, I don't know, maybe like a power plant or something that's really more critical, um, but we'll have to see. The other possibility where I thought that was a weapons rack, it could also be for like coolers or shield generators, some of the smaller, more narrow components. So the gunner actually has a third person view as well, kind of that remote turret. Um, you can see it's on the back of this vehicle. You look a little bit farther forward, you can see the uh, Scorpion Gatling turrets there. Um, when you exit, you basically have control of this uh, panel as well. Uh, if you want to get out of it, um, you can really get a feel for the inside of the ship uh, or vehicle. It is a little bit coffin-like. Um, it almost has a retaliator feel in a way because there is only light coming out of the cockpit once you close up and start driving around. So it almost is a little submarine slash, you know, tractor trailer type of semi-truck feel. Um, as far as the way this thing actually drives, it's okay. Um, you can see the size of the missiles on the back. You do have the eight size fives and two of the size seven. So you're talking significant size of weaponry here. Um, I will say that the Scorpions are pretty potent weapons right now. So I think there's some, um, you know, a little bit more versatility to this vehicle than I would have given it credit for initially. Um, the bigger problem with those Scorpions, though, is you do have very limited vertical downplay. So you're going to have a hard time hitting targets that are below you. Uh, as far as the speed on this, it is relatively slow. It is in that 30 meters per second category, so it doesn't feel like you're getting anywhere fast. It turns okay. Um, some of my org has uh, lovingly named this the milk truck because of how it performs on the ground. <laughs> um, that being said, I'm not looking at something that's long and thin and saying this is going to be a real, I guess, tight turning, great handling vehicle, but it doesn't flip over real easy as far as I can tell. It's been relatively stable as a platform is concerned, and it basically handles like you would expect it to. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's not going to be surprising how terrible it is either. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually show kind of pulling off and getting into the back turret and lining up shots and how that actually feels. Um, it's pretty intuitive as far as locking is concerned. If you're using your mouse, you can click the middle mouse button like you would in a ship. Um, once the missiles are actually fired off, it is a pretty cool animation the way that they actually launch out of here. So um, you'll see that I get the same lock that you're familiar with seeing from the spaceships themselves, kind of that red circular indicator. Um, once the circle has been completed, you can go ahead and release your missile. And I'll just let be quiet here for a sec so you can just see it. Boom, there goes two of them. <laughs> Um, it is also nice that, you know, you are like on the ships having a visual representation of missiles actually leaving your ship. It's nothing there that's going to be like an arbitrary or a fake total that's leaving. Uh, if you fire your weapons, you're going to be missing those weapons. Um, it's actually a pretty cool thing to see like when you're looking at another one of the ships. Like when you're actually firing the missiles, sure, it feels good. It's kind of fun to see them launch. Um, it also does like almost does it like ICBM launch where it kind of goes off in a direction and then corrects. Um, here, another one of my buddies, uh, Sly Fi, is shooting off some in the background. Uh, you'll see that they kind of just jump off of this ship. There was three of them. <laughs> Uh, and then they get launched and they're flying after the target. And then they do some good tracking. Um, the general consensus was that they are harder to dodge in atmosphere than they are in planet. But they, it seems like they're having a hard time maneuvering much like our ships were. So there's a little bit of balancing there that we're going to need to see. So there's your first look at this pretty cool little vehicle. I'm glad we have it in game. Uh, as things progress, I'll give you more feedback on it as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Let me know if you have questions and have a wonderful day. Take care.